Hey guys, what's up? It's Deanna of My Regular Ass Life, and as you can see, I'm in bed. I'm pretty sure all of you have seen the video on World Star Hip Hop of a girl getting beat up by two black girls in Baltimore. I like I recorded a video for this before, but after finding out more information, I wanted to change my angle and how I approached the video. You know, the people in McDonald's, I was kind of upset that they didn't help her. Um, and that the fact that a McDonald's employee was actually recording it, and towards the end, um, they were actually telling the girls to run away. Like, the McDonald's employees were like, you need to get out of here, you need to get out of here before the police come. And I just thought that that was a horrible thing, because, you know... I mean, regardless if you work at McDonald's and you knew the people that were fighting them, you're, like, you're not supposed to tell anybody to flee a crime scene. Like, how could you see something like that? This woman got beat up by two girls and started having a seizure. How, after something like that happens to somebody, can you tell someone to run away and not be there to be held accountable for their actions? Um, also... I didn't like how at the end of the video, if you watch it, you see the manager basically like shut the door on the girls and then step over the woman having a seizure. Anybody knows that when someone's having a seizure, although you shouldn't really mess with them, like you need to contain them or hold them so they don't hurt themselves because once you have a seizure, you don't have any control over your body. And this woman proceeds to like bang her head and arm against the wall, which can cause her more damage um, than she's already having. And I just... I couldn't believe how this guy just stepped over her and walked away as if nothing was even happening. And clearly the woman was on the floor hurt. Um, another point that I uh, made in the video was I, I thought it was interesting how this video was getting so much attention and uh, another video wasn't getting attention. Um, on hiring day, national hiring day for McDonald's, there was actually two people that got hit and ran over by a car after a fight that was at a McDonald's in Ohio. I, I guess, like, not to say that one is more important than the other, but it was just very interesting how McDonald's was, um, I guess I'll say ignoring the other video in Ohio and not really saying anything about that one and saying a lot about this one. And not even, I'm not even saying that just because, you know, it took place in Baltimore and, you know, I don't want Baltimore to have a bad image. I really don't give a shit. Baltimore already has a bad image, but I want to make it clear that, these type of things don't just happen in Baltimore, and these type of things don't just happen with black people. Um, if anybody wants to make this into a location or a race issue, please don't. Because people do crazy things in every race and everywhere across the world. Uh, yesterday I was updated on the situation and I found out that the woman that was actually beat up in the McDonald's was transgendered, um, male to female, I believe, and that the whole reason the fight started was because this woman, yes, I called her a woman because that's what she is, um, I don't believe what you are born as, um, like, basically I believe that people can be born in the wrong body. Um, I know that my views are very liberal and very open, but that's because I don't, I understand what it's like to be confined into a box, like, for people to say you are this when you don't feel like you are that. I mean, just like with, um, people telling me that I'm a white girl and I don't, like, because I'm so light-skinned and I don't feel like a white girl, I know what it feels like to be confined into this idea of what everybody else thinks you are or wants to tell you that you are but you don't identify with so in a transgender person's case um you could be born a male but you don't physically i mean you you are physically a male but you don't feel inside that your your inside matches your outside if that makes any sense um so based i, I was just really upset that there are so many i mean it's 2011 I don't care whether you support gay marriage, I don't care whether you support abortion, I don't care whether you support, I don't know, fucking polar bears living in a zoo. I don't give a shit what you support, but what people need to realize is that it's 2011, and not everyone's the same. And just because you don't believe in what another person does, or how another person lives their life, gives you no right 
whatsoever to physically harm them or to pass judgment on them. Because at the same time, somebody could disagree with the way you're living your life. Somebody could disagree with the fact that you're left-handed. And they could pass judgment on you. Like, it could be something, some stupid shit. Like, as minimal as that for people to pass judgment on you. They don't like the way you fucking part your hair. Like, it's bullshit. The way that we as human beings treat each other due to these labels that were created by, like by humans, like, not even some, some natural labels, like, like, alright, take it like this. The only reason you call a cloud a cloud is because that's what you've been told to call it. If nobody ever told you to call a cloud a cloud, what would you call it? Whatever you fucking wanted to, right? So, if nobody ever told you that, you know, that person's a boy because of this, that, and the third. You would never even call that person a boy. That that wouldn't even be in your vocabulary. People get so hung up on these labels that we give things and that this is the way things have to be because it's been done this way for so long. That shit doesn't mean shit. At the end of the day, people evolve. Things change. Time passes and people progress. And I think that people are so so quick to let that, you know, quick to live by, you know, that that those sayings like things are always changing when it comes to things that they are willing to accept but when it comes to the way people live their lives or how people think people aren't ready for that shit and it's so hypocritical for somebody to sit around and say oh you know things are always changing but then when somebody steps up wants to be different has changed their opinion of something or changed the way that they live their life we are so quick to judge it when two seconds ago we were like oh no everything changes but as soon as it's something you're not comfortable with you're quick to be like no no fuck that shit we can't have that change fucking however many years ago we thought it like not we but i mean people in america thought it was okay to have slaves and now you know it's not and a hundred years from now people are gonna think it's okay to be transgender people are gonna think it's okay to be homosexual or gay but right now we're still in the midst of it's not okay like times change people change and i think I think we need to stop being so close-minded. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it is. And I was really upset to find out that the reason that all this went on and that this woman had to go through so much was because she was transgendered. Like, I don't know. I'm pissed off. I'm sorry, y'all. I really shouldn't do videos when I'm angry because this is what happens. I can express myself to a certain point and then I just I just shut down because I know I'm going to get hell and so many comments, you know, down there about, oh, people shouldn't be gay this, the Bible says it's wrong, or people who are transgender just confused and want attention. And I'm honestly, I'm probably going to zap on like 99% of y'all because honestly, with closed minds, we don't get anywhere. And I feel like so much of, of our population is closed-minded. And that's why we have so many problems. We have so many problems because we refuse to accept people who just want to live. Like, and I'm sure I'm going to get comments like, oh, well, you want us to accept uh, people for being gay and people for being transgender. Do you want us to accept people who are fucking murderers and child molesters? And shut the fuck up, because that's not even what this is about. And you know it's not. And when you have to stoop to arguments like that, that just shows how petty your argument is. You have no other backing up of any, like, information other than trying to, like, lowball something or to try to bring up religion, and I'm, I'm over that shit, I'm, I can't, I'm sorry.